welcome to episode 12 of The Lot, The Lovers of Trad. Um, that was the one with the Dibna Finch there, uh, giving us our, our lovely intro music. It gets me every time, I never get old. Oh yeah, you'll be slaving away all day and then it comes on and say, you're like, like, oh, oh. <laughs> talk for some tunes. As always, we've got Caroline um, at the helm here, so for any uh, comments and uh, complaints, uh, if you want to ask a question, or just some advice uh, in these troubled times. <laughs> So Any, anything would be appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> if it's your first time joining us for the lot, um, it's a, it, it's kind of an interactive. Well, it's meant to be an interactive kind of thing. Uh, we want you to, if you're a musician out there, grab an instrument and play along with us. We've got lots of wonderful tunes coming up. But just to blow out the cobwebs, we're going to start with a song as always. Um, this song is uh, comes from County Galway, and it's uh, it's in the key of A for anyone who wants to play along here, and it'll give you a little bit of a clue as to who's coming on the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah! I wear the Giants Country Kitty Man Joyce Country Kelly Band. Yeah, and this is not the rock and roll show. <laughs> oh, that's great. So we're off. We hope everybody's um, uh, tuning in and playing along at home with us. Um, so uh, we're going to get uh, our first guest, our, our, our guest for, for this week in here. Uh, much anticipated. And I, I think back when we first met uh, um, our guest, 
was back in the Fenians days. We were That's doing right, a session yeah. there of a Thursday night. And I think Fenians yeah. is a pub in uh, in Perth for those who don't know. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Underneath the Novotel Hotel there, and we used to do a um, th Thursday night there at the session. And I think uh, the first time we ever met uh, our, our our guest was uh, we would have been playing this set of tunes, yeah. and he probably uh, rattled his way into our life uh, on the bones. Uh, uh, looking as dirty at, from the bar, and then uh, <laughs> came over and. Gave it a couple of clicks and off we went. Bagging a few sticks here together. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to play a little set of tunes and we're going to, uh, we're going to see what happens. Uh, this uh, first one is called uh, Judy Delaney's and the second one is called Castle Kelly. And uh, I feel like something might happen in the middle of these. Do you ever, do you ever get yeah. that feeling? Hopefully it's uh, me playing the tune correctly. All right, here we go. <laughs> sad uh, we uh, we were always going banging on about how much talent we have in Perth uh, West Australia and Perth mm. in particular um, of musicianship and Mark is a wonderful musician but also a wonderful tune writer as you're going to find out over the course of the next hour or so um, and uh, we've actually got seven original compositions from Mark coming up in the show uh, we are we kind of loaded them towards the back end of the show because obviously nobody's going to know them but we hope that you're going to listen to them and enjoy them and uh, also um, if anyone fancies them we're going to throw up the sheet music which Ben has transposed yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so we're, I hopefully um, yeah we, we, we'll have those available mm -hmm. in the next day or so like maybe as we get the, the video up tomorrow and have somewhere if you want to go learn these tunes I can help you out there yeah just send us because I had to learn them myself so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out. So um, it's great to have you on the show. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Good to be here. Good, man. Thank you so much for doing it. Hopefully, we can impress the viewers and all that. You know? <laughs> of course, we will. Of course, we will. Good, you know. The, the pride of Cork City here, ladies and gents. Uh, yeah. North side. North side. North side. Yeah. North yeah. Side, <laughs> it's an important <laughs> distinction. That's great. It is. If you're from Cork, yeah. So we're going to start mm. off with um, uh, a set of polkas. Now, uh, I said we were going to backload the show with some of Mark's originals, but uh, to welcome you on the show here, we're going to, we're going to um, play... Well, the first one is, is called uh, Bally Desmond, the second Bally De Desmond in A minor. So, 
Yes. And then we're going to do um, an original composition which is called Joyce's Polka. Some of you guys that come to the sessions at birth mm. may know it or may be familiar with it. Um, uh, we hope you're going to enjoy it here anyways. So this is Bally Desmond 2 followed by Joyce's Polka. Where did you get the name for that? Oh, just my imagination. That was, uh, that was a birth certificate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Long form. All oh, right. Who's taking who's taking away here? Caroline's got some stuff coming in here. What's what's happening? Yeah, we've got that savage yeah. Mark. Brilliant. Who's that from? Uh, Chris Donovan. Chris Donovan oh, says that savage Mark. Brilliant oh, yeah, yeah, stuff. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we got lots of people saying hello, and um, yeah, we've got yeah listening from Derry. Um, people saying that you've, your music's got them through the the tricky time. Ah, through, that's great so, to hear. Yeah, yeah great woof, stuff. Woof for Mark. <laughs> man, Mark. Yeah. Well, so, uh, so Mark was always a, a, a great um, a friend, a friend of the band, and we used to do a lot, a lot of gigs down in in Fenians in the city there, and uh, um, you'd always come along to the the sessions and the gigs. And whenever we were doing the gigs, he he'd always ask for this song because this next song that we're going to do is a is a Cork song, and it's about a man from Cork who was working as a waiter in the early nineteen uh, hundreds. Uh, in Cork City, and um, and then he, he he always had a, a longing to go and uh, do a bit of sailing, and uh, but the problem was he had a girlfriend at the time, and of course she didn't like the idea. But a boat came into uh, Milford Bay, and uh, by the name of the Good Ship Kangaroo, so we can only assume it was an Australian boat or had some kind of Australian connection, mm. and uh, he they were look they were hiring people, they were looking for people to go on this boat. And he, he, he begged his girlfriend at the time to let him go and do this and just kind of get it out of the system. So she wasn't happy about it, but off they went, uh, off, off he went, and he promised when he'd come back 
from his short trip that uh, they go down to the, uh, the chapel and get wed. Uh, but the, unfortunately, the boat was delayed a couple of months. And by the time he got back to Cork, uh, she had gone off with a travelling salesman. <laughs> and of course, this was, there was a great arrangement of this by Planksty, which is where we all know from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do Planksty's uh, version here of the Good Ship Kangaroo. Uh, I guess the, the, the final scene in this song, not to ruin it for you, but uh, the man in particular, he got so sad that he started smoking opium. And the last he was seen was walking out of Cork in a big puff of smoke. And that was the end of him. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, it is a jolly tune, though. It's called The Good Ship Kangaroo, so uh, a great old cork song. Okay, one, two, three, four.
good for no rehearsal at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark Hughes always asked us for that one when we'd be playing in gigs and stuff. So that was class, Gosh, man. <laughs> it's rarely get a chance. To, it's not really much of a session song, I guess. Because it's one of those, because the arrangement that they did is kind of you know what or you don't, you know. Yeah. But uh, it's lovely to be able to play, play yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. You, you, yeah, because I, I love that tune that I, I, I think it was, who's the piper in that? Liam O'Flynn, I think. Liam yeah. yeah, he I, composed I, 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 think, I think he might have written the, the, the tune to that, but, um, but uh, yeah, it's specific to the song and yeah. not a lot of people know it, so it's great to play it with someone else, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. class. Just, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're going to tackle our first set of jigs here now. Um, so, uh, yeah, so jig players. We've got, uh, the first one's called The Castle in A minor. We've got uh, Dooney Rock um, in kind of A minor slash A Mixolydian. And we've got uh, Willie Clancy's, um, which was a, that, was a, that was a new one for you, wasn't it, Ben, with the Willie Clancy's? Yeah, yeah, it still is. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's, who's playing what instrument on this? We're, we're both playing banjo. I think it's a uh, double banjo. So, just, so, uh, just, just so I can let you know about the confusion here, folks. Uh, we counted up how many strings we have going here tonight uh, on all the that, instruments all that we have. Yeah, we have 60 yeah, yeah. strings just being the, used the tonight. Well, we'll and Mark, Mark says to me when we came in, he says, Are we using all of them? I was like, We're damn straight, we're using all of them. <laughs> we better. So, uh, well, then, yeah, 60 yeah. strings. 60 strings and two bones. Two bones, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and three Egypts. Really just speak yourself. Ah, yeah. Seems like a good name for, me, for an album, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 60 good. strings, two bones, and three agents. Yeah. You need a. I'd include you, Caroline, but I feel like you don't want to be included in the last number there. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. All right. All yeah. right. Here we go. Do you want to leave this one off? Do that.
Like, what is that? <laughs> We're just trying to get the easy ones out of the way, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, yeah, because, yeah, like, so... Joyce said to me, he's like, uh, yeah, we're fl- like, we'll do Wheelie Clancy's at the end of it. No, it was... Um, and Sean Ryan... I think he wrote the first one, didn't he? Uh, he wrote the first two. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. And, um, and he's... The, yeah, so Sean Ryan's another prolific uh, uh, composer of um, tunes. Unbelievable. And he yeah. always he seems to play... There's always something just a little bit like what you don't expect, and uh, <laughs> if you, if, if, to expect the unexpected for the rest of the show is what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. We may have met another tune composer who likes the same style. Is that what you mean? <laughs> All right, we're going to try a couple of uh, reels here. And when I say a couple, I mean three. Um, we can read the old maths. <laughs> I uh, knew I always knew it was going to come in useful. So the uh, the first one is called the Lads of Leash in E minor. Then we've got the Boyne Hunt in D, and the Boys of Malin in A. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy these. Uh, these a couple of bad reels here. together nah unbelievable man what of course you did no, I didn't know oh, fair play. that sounds great mm. ah, Boys of is one of our like uh, the, of all the contributors to the show that's it's got to be it's just such a great tune like uh, if you're going to stick a reel on the end of something yeah let's get out there 
But, um, yes. but it's interesting, like, uh, all the different people we've had play it, like, everyone plays it differently. Yeah, like, uh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like, what I, what I think of how, like, Dan Walsh played on the five string banjo, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. It's like swing and stuff, you know? Yeah, and Dominic had, had a lovely version as well. Oh, and, um, yes, yeah. 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 I, I don't think we actually got rounds of. That was one of, the, one of the sets we had, but anyway, yeah. It was during that time when we asked people to do the gravel walks and Boys of Valen, and we just had like heaps of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Dunnock sent a beautiful one in, and we were kind of like, let's just just shell that for a while, and then we'll uh, we'll bring yeah. it back out again. So, yeah, yeah. So anyway, think, classic tune. Yeah, great one. Yeah, that or actually la- uh, last night at the at the Woodbridge, um, uh, Didna and Phil played uh, the Sligo Maid at the end of a set, and they're kind of like. Like you're gonna finish a set, like it's gotta be the slide on made, you know. It's just a great <laughs> finisher, you know. Mm. Some might say it's the Elizabeth tune. <laughs> That's what Come I'm here, saying, I'll man. I'll give you this here now. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, now. This is unprecedented. Swap, swapping around, so uh, we're gonna do this another song, another song that's a favorite of yours. I think I can say. Yeah. Another Blanksy song, Blanksy arrangement. I think I think we all kind of grew up with this one, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's it's a great one. So this this song uh, is in the key of D, and it is set to the tune of the Freeze Bridges, which is a five part tune in um, oh, in D. Mm-hmm. and uh, uh, kind of loosely in D sorry. anyways um, so for the purpose of writing the, the song they just use the first kind of three parts so the part A, the part B and the part C which is what we're going to do here tonight so uh, if you're wondering if it sounds familiar that's because it is the freeze bridges but it, it, isn't, it is an addition to kind of a way it's not a name you'd want to say after a few too many jars <laughs> yeah the freeze bridges <laughs> um, and this song is, uh, is about a ghost uh, it's about this this man is being uh, haunted by a ghost and the, the ghost's name is Kunla. The ghost of the Fenian session. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it should be, yeah. I remember these guys getting right into it back in the day, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Who was that there? Not taking the price of me. Who was that there? Taking the price of 
you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great stuff, man. Great yeah. stuff. Freeze Bridges, what a tune. We learned the other two parts some other time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get it on top. We will, yeah. We'll take this back. Play. It seems too sophisticated for me. <laughs> it's quite large. <laughs> no, no, it, it's too large and not loud enough, eh? Where's my banjo? <laughs> Where's the dang banjo? <laughs> Turn on the dang lights. <laughs> All right, so we got a uh, a set of reels coming at you now. Yeah. Um, this is a uh, this is a grand old set. Uh, the first one, the Killarney Boys of Pleasure. Where is that from now? Uh, the small village of pleasure. He's <laughs> 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 he's stuck in his craw there, look. Right? Uh, <laughs> and then we have the tap room. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about. What's that uh, the back of the pub, isn't it? Oh, I suppose, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then... I uh, guarantee that's in tune now. And then the, Euro, the we're going to follow that one with the Euros Chia. Uh, so, um, two tunes in E minor, finish it off at one in a kind of a funny LD scenario. We're, drop, we're dropping the D down for this one, man. Alright. Hope you enjoy these. Ew. Get some banjo up, yeah. Alright, let's go. Double banjo. <laughs> <laughs>
Jared is coming out there now and you back <laughs> choice. Huh? I'll tell you what, those first two tunes, I was like, yeah, I know those. But the problem is I haven't played, I've played, I've learned so many tunes over the last 10 weeks. Thank you everybody for sending them in. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they've actually erased, Knocked them out. They've erased those two yeah, tunes. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Tap Room is such a great tune, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you play yeah. the notes in the correct order, yeah. Man, I'm so sure. savage. <laughs> He's kidding me. It's great to hear the two banjos going. It's like, it sounds like a gag of the geese all fighting with each other. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's... How dare you? I like to think oh, it sounds like a, like a can of, an empty can of soup with gravel in it rolling down a hill. <laughs> it sounds like a noble buffalo. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Doug Have you had anything to, in, to put no, into this? No, 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 no. So, uh, uh, so we're going to do another set of tunes, folks, and then we're going to take a short intermission uh, so that everyone can put the kettle on and grab another cup of tea. Or uh, do whatever uh, needful things that need to be done around the house. Uh, we'll be taking like maybe a five five minute break, and uh, and come back with some more tunes in the next part of the program. Hope you're enjoying the tunes so far. Uh, we started First off. Of all, we'd like to thank our uh, sponsors tonight. Oh, oh yes, our sponsors were Hobnobs, uh, sent sent in by uh, Marina Buckley, all the way from uh, Ireland. How do you know her? Uh, we, <laughs> she's no relation. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Disowned on television. <laughs> we decided to go with the hobnobs because we were mixing with royalty here, uh, the king of the norries. Uh, so uh, that's that's why we're, we're hobnobbing it here tonight. <laughs> um, so uh, Mark Joyce, when he, when he first sat down, he played uh, Joyce's polka. We're also gonna, we're going to do another um, original composition as we go into our intermission. And uh, this one is well, we're going to do a couple of polkas again. The first another one Bally is Desmond, another, another Bally Bally Desmond, number right. one. And then we have the, the, the second polka is the Sulky on the Road. So tell us about this, uh, this second one here, Mark. Uh, it's just something you could see around Cork City, you know, with, uh, when you're heading along the main road and you're driving along and you get some bloke in a, sitting in a sulky with a horse dragging him along the. Aye. Street, you know, so well, we were playing, so, yeah, yeah, just, uh, just to make it clear to some people that might not know what a sulky is, it's like, yeah, like a wagon, yeah, yeah, yeah like a one man, two man wagon, one man track, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, uh, well. hopefully, uh, when you listen to uh, Mark's original composition of the sulky on the road, um, if you uh, obviously play along if you can, we, we might give it like three, ta- three times around just so people can get the hang of it, yeah, yeah. it's um, a very distinctive tune, like, yeah, it'll, it'll, well, it'll be stuck in your head for, for the rest of your life, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I, I guess I had a restless sleep last night after spending a, like a good few hours playing it. I just wanted yep. to be in that sulky on the road. You know? <laughs> yep. So yeah, I mean, when we heard it first, you could really imagine it, and uh, yeah. So hopefully, uh, when you when you hear the tune, you can you can just imagine what that that scene would be like in the middle of Cork City of a of a sulky head on the road and a rake of police officers chasing after him. Fair play. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna take this off. Hey, Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you, thanks. Yeah, what All right, I, I was just told last week by Ronan that um, <laughs> it's like you've got to play polkas a million miles an hour, but sometimes they're difficult. So like, uh, um, take it nice and handy there now, just for me, because I didn't get the same amount of time to yeah, learn. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, fair yeah we're all, all learning right. as we go. Yeah. All right, here we go.
We are going to take a very short intermission, go grab a cup of tea or grab a little beer or top up your wine. We are going to come back with lots more tunes in the next part of the programme. Mr. Mark Joyce, ladies and gents. Yay! We'll see you back in a few minutes.
gents, we are back here with the... These... Oh! Hey, didn't I wait now? She's mad to go. Fair play for her. <laughs> we are back with the, the second part of our programme here tonight um, with the great Mark Joyce, the, the, proud, the pride of uh, Cork City. <laughs> we want to acknowledge uh, Donald. He sent us sent us in some wonderful tunes there for the that we use for intermission. As always, like it's just just unbelievable. They just get better and better. So thank you so much for those tunes. Really appreciate it. Um, so we're going to shoot off now into a polka, which uh, you you came uh, last Saturday to Ben's porch and you played us this polka, and uh, we we're like, oh, we got to put that in the show. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and. Um, do it because there isn't, I guess, an educational side to what we're trying to do. Um, I suppose. <laughs> it's pretty, right, uh, there, there is a reason that I'm not on here. It's just because I, I don't, I didn't have time to learn the tune, and I, <laughs> otherwise I'd just be sitting there looking stupid like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to play this this polka that Mark has written, and uh, it's called. Would your sister wear it? <laughs> I don't know how you can wear a tune. So we're going to do it slowly to start with, and then we're going to bring it up to tempo. And when I say bring it up to tempo, I mean like, uh, yeah, bring it up to Let's tempo. Let's make it a sculpture, boys. Uh, Polka bul wise. Body sculpture. Right. So uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna try this one. This is called "Would Your Sister Wear It." It's in kind of some A minor scenario. Uh, so uh, here we go. here first would your sister wear it oh. i don't know if she would or not but uh fair play that's a great tune there's, there's a story behind that is there yeah all right is it, that is leads it, is perfectly it P, into, is it pg into my next segue oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so oh, if it's uh, PG, we, we can actually talk about it but now. the thing is we we have got an after show that we're going to do afterwards oh, so right, uh, <laughs> we're going to save it for that yeah. so so ladies and gents we are going to be talking to mark afterwards in ben's kitchen um, so all these tunes have really great titles and great stories behind them, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, can't, I can't wait to hear the, the story behind that one. 
Um, so no. it's not even that good. I wouldn't get too excited. Okay. <laughs> all right. So if, if everyone right. can just yeah, calm yeah, the excitement there. Yeah. It's a rubbish story, but he's going to tell it anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. What a what what a tune, man. What a tune. So yeah, we are going to do an after show as soon as we wrap the thing tonight. And uh, if it's not your thing, that's cool. But if you want to uh, jump on and ask Mark any questions or just have a chat away or whatever, uh, we'll be there for as long as you guys uh, will have us. Um, so and we'll, we'll definitely that's going to be our first talking point is <laughs> where did that come from okay. so we'll plow on here with uh, what's that uh, next ah we have ah. a um, this is a uh, bit of a uh, bones <laughs> I'm on bones that's right yeah, yeah, initially yeah. and yeah. You're, then you're going to banjo so can I can I grab your so own the, banjo the, the, oh, yeah. the can you, you grab his banjo it's odd yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a on, on the second there. tune. You've just seen right. on hand. Oh, that's heavy in that. This is short, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this, well, How would you play that now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I could just hold the banjo until you need it, but uh, but I also need to play this at the same oh, time. Okay. <laughs> what have you What have you done? With that? <laughs> yeah, uh, so this is uh, one of our other very organised uh, <laughs> experiments. Yeah. Is this get, get flustered now. That's all right. Take your time, man. Get yourself comfortable. Okay. You ready? All right. So we're going to do uh, an old set, uh, the uh, a set of reels, the teetotalers, and uh, Saint Anne's reel. If you want, Mark, if you chuck it down there for the moment, then you can yeah, pick you it up. Good. All okay. right. Cool. We're good. All right. <laughs> Fair play. He's all about stealth. Yeah. He's like uh, a modern day Stephen Seagal. Have you got a little bit of control on it, or Or a futuristic <laughs> Charles Dickens. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that then. All right, here we go. The teetotaler is followed by St. Anne's. St. Anne's, like you've never heard it before, let me just say. I'm not just uh, talking it up. Fair play. And teetotaler, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs>
was sad. That was oh. uh, That was quite jazzy, wasn't it? <laughs> it was mm. so, <laughs> so cool, man. Yeah. Here, pass that over. I'm going to pass this back uh, to you. I'm using it for this one. Oh, I? sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's go on. We didn't. I, I wasn't uh, here for oh, yeah, rehearsal. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I've, I've just belt the crap out of that man. Uh, I'll sleep down now. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair play. Fair play. I just belt the blasted out this uh, thing. So, so tune it up a bit. Uh, right, we're going to do uh, a set of tunes now. Um, hope you enjoyed those. That was a bit of crack, wasn't it? Bit of crack. We're going to do a, a set of tunes now, which is, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's an original set of we might jigs. As well, we'll hand it over to Mike to... to yeah, Mike. yeah. So, so th these, these two have, have a lot of meaning. So I'll, I'll oh, let yeah. you uh, explain to people what's going the, on here. The first one is called Rambling Mac Keys and it's dedicated to a good friend of mine that passed away recently. Yeah. And uh, I thought it captured the spirit of him, you know. Yeah. It's a lovely tune. It's a, you yeah. can hear the sentiment in it. It's good. So that's dedicated to Maggie Keys. Uh, my good friend, and we're uh, going to do a shout out to uh, uh, yeah, Tony yeah. Mowbray and uh, Tom Keys. If they're watching, uh, send this one out to you. And this, the next one is called The Rakish Nori. Yeah, well done. How's that then? Who knows? Could be anybody. Could be anyone. Yeah. Could be so, Kevin from the Irish Club. For the uninitiated, well, uninitiated as Kevin. I was uh, a Kevin. while ago, I didn't know what a nori was until you explained to me. Can, what, what is a nori exactly? Uh, north side of the river, Cork. Cork. Okay. They, yeah. They call, they call us and, norries. And if you're from the south side, you call us sorry. Sorry. Or if you're if you're a nori that moves to the south side, you're yeah. called a sorry nori. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that's quite, quite quite simple when you say nori and sorry, but then when you had the yeah, nori sorry, yeah, that's <laughs> sorry nori who moves to south side. But anyway, it's only all friendly banter. We all get along famously. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely. Only, it's only yeah. a bit of crack, you know. That's great. That's great. So, so uh, <coughs> yeah, I guess uh, I remember the first time that you uh, played the, the the first one, the round of Mackeys for us. Yep. It was in Phoenix actually a couple of weeks ago. We went in and oh, that's right, that's right. I met Mark and uh, oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it was it was quite emotional because you used to come in with Matt. Um, you know Matty as well. Yeah, right? into yeah. the sessions. He was a great know? friend of mine. You know, yeah, we used to yeah. go everywhere together. You know. And but uh, what, what better tribute than to write a tune to him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was meaning to do to yeah. write something uh, uh, for him, and uh, this one seemed appropriate. You know, so. And it's lovely. Uh, like I think you pointed this out uh, a couple of days ago. Was it's lovely that the two tunes are together because you guys are great pals, and yeah, to put yeah. the two tunes together. It's kind of like you're like you're, you're still yeah, kind seems of together, it up, you know? seems it up into one the one thing yeah you know? yeah so, yeah yeah so anyways so, yeah the first one round of my keys is in G and then we're gonna go into the rakish nori in G minor um so hope you enjoyed these original tunes from Mark Joyce here we go.
Beautiful. Thanks. Great. Uh, lovely accompaniment on that. Great, man. Oh, huh? what are you up on there? <laughs> they were their class, man. You like that, yeah? I, I said to Mark, and this is probably more for the after show thing, but fuck it, I'm going to bring it up here. I, I said to Mark, like, where, where did they come from? Where did the tunes come from? You know, like, the, like, do you wake up in the morning with them, or do you think about a person and they come to you? Or like, but you, you were saying to me that most of the time you just pick up the instrument and they come out. Yeah, the tunes are always knocking. You know, you just got to be in the right. You have, to, to, be, you have uh, to be open enough for the conduit to come in. Channel it in, you know? Yeah. yeah. But uh, I would say definitely heaven sent, you know? Definitely yeah. uh, from, come, come up from somewhere else, definitely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Deadly. Yeah, well, uh, my, a lot of composers would say that. Shavinsky <coughs> said he uh, came up with the Bride of Spring, and that's a uh, pretty, pretty wild set of tunes. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was sitting on are the they jeans or reels, or what are they? Oh, they actually, yeah, yeah, they're, they're all based, based on folk music, but uh, he yeah. takes down a, a dark path, sir. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, yeah like uh, a, a lot of composers well, say yeah, the same thing. Oh, like, Carolyn gotta, said you know, that, that the fairies used to give him the chins. That's oh, what, that's, yeah, yeah. Like, he, he, would, he would fall asleep on top of a hill somewhere yeah. and then wake up in the morning and apparently the fairies gave him the tunes. So, um, yeah. yeah, it's definitely coming in from somewhere. Somewhere yeah. else, and that's a phenomenon I don't really understand. Well, lovely that's tunes, man. Point. Well written, fair thank play. Thank you very much, and, and a good uh, a good credit to your mail as well, man. They're beautiful. Yeah, There's some sure, love man. coming in on yeah. uh, Facebook as well for those tunes. People saying yeah. such a good set, lovely tunes, two crackers there. Yeah. Well, there Magical. Is. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks so everyone. people, if they want to learn them, obviously they come back and we, we're going to put this up on YouTube tomorrow. <coughs> but uh, obviously if they come back and they want to actually the sheet music and stuff, Ben's got sheet music, so we, we'll, we'll yeah. post them. Yeah, up. I can even, I've got yeah. a way to tab it out for your uh, various instruments and that sort of thing. But um, they're great tunes and like uh, we'll continue to play them and hopefully you guys do too. Thanks yeah. very much. Can I just say a big hello to everybody in Cork City, all the, <laughs> all the Joyce family there, father, mother, sisters, nieces, nephews and the whole lot. Yeah, and all indeed. the Joyces. And brothers-in-law as well, yeah. Lovely to meet you. Is our mist here, and we hope you're doing all right with the lockdown and everything. And, um, yeah, hopefully, um, like, Ireland's doing it tough there, as many countries are. And uh, hopefully it'll, it'll come out of it now. I've seen a few people posting up uh, pictures. Of the pubs are starting to open now to a certain degree. You can go in there for... Uh, I uh, think uh, point point seven five of a minute and get a pint or whatever. Yeah. Whatever it does. Is it, did they do it in timing or how many pints you can drink? <laughs> I think it's some kind of Olympic uh, scenario. So uh, yeah. Anyway, try. best of luck anyway. Yeah, yeah. Good on you. Yeah, and hello to Uncle Josser in the hospital. I hope you will be on your uh, feet again soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Then, oh man, please. This yeah. is this is your platform. So. All right. Fair now, <laughs> would you like? <laughs> Please, we've like I mean, we, I think we've talked about these tunes a, a, a few times before, but uh, of course we have, yeah. But yeah. um, they've got some of my favourite names of, of Joyce's tunes. I well, I, I asked Mark before we went to, to air tonight. I I says what what is the oldest tune? Look, we were playing seven original compositions of yours tonight, and what's the oldest tune that you wrote? And you reckon the first one that we're going to play now is is the oldest, which is called the Tinker's Cross. Tinkers Cross, yeah. That, yeah. And that Tinkers Cross is the area that I grew up in in Cork City. Okay. Yeah, there's a good cross. Deadly, yeah. 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 That's the thing, I never even I considered to ask what it was about because it was just such a, it just, I mean, it's just, it's just such a good title that I'm just like, that's fine. Because the great thing about it is like, <laughs> trying to figure out, is, is the Tinker Cross and why is he cross? What happened Or there? is the Tinker's Cross a crossroads where the Tinkers are? Or, no, know, I didn't ask any of those questions. Or is, or, or, I, I, the existential thing I thought was the Tinker's Cross, because we were listening to um, the, the songs that Owen is singing, yeah. um, like the Tinker's Cross to bear, I kind of thought it was a kind of something existential, like, the, you know, like their, their cross. But it's an address, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we, we were way out there. And well, then actually the simple answer is, yeah, it's... Uh, well, there's no hoses there, but it's a cross. I live on 17 it's Tinkers Cross. It's a crossroads, you mean. Yeah. That's what you mean? It's yeah, a crossroads, yeah. 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 So we're going to play that tune, and, and that's written in the key of D. And then we've Four got... Less, yeah. We've got another... <laughs> <laughs> more than there, there, about. <laughs> and then uh, we've got another tune called... Well, controversially... Uh, well, I'm you know how I feel about this? Oh, yeah, I'm, the, I'm exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, so when you brought this to the Fenian session... It originally had the title of The Rebel in the Hedge. And he, for it, about a week. And then he didn't like that. 
I think you changed. Yeah, it. yeah, but we'd already latched onto that. Oh, yeah. man. The I, rebel in the head. It's. I, I learned a lesson with that one. Yeah, you got to be careful with the titles, you know. Ah. The first yeah, one you hand over. It's, it's almost as like your your child has started barracking for a, for the enemy footy team or something. <laughs> like <that. laughs> Anyways, it's now called John Wayne's Gatlin Gun. I know it as the uh, rebel in the hedge, and and always will. Uh, so this the is big, yeah. In in some way, the uh, the John Wayne's Gatlin Gun is quite evocative. To oh, it makes it sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much like the sulky in the road. Please put sense. your boats yeah. in. Yeah. To, as to what it should be called because these tunes are going up on the session.org <laughs> if, if, uh, if Dunlop will let us we'd love these tunes to go up onto the session yeah, yeah. and we have to give them like at least one name and then an alternate name so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so here we have the Tinker's Cross in D and then John Wayne's Gatlin Gun which I prefer to be called uh, the Red and Hedge in C and uh, yeah Here's some here's some tunes. Make it tunes. Mark angry, yeah, but that's good because these are anger tunes. Yeah. Get into it, boy. Get into it. Come on, lay into it there. No, I'm not going to take it away. It's your bloody tune. Tune more than you have, man. Well, easily. <laughs> I've only played it maybe 20 times. <laughs> so that's part of like you may have recognised that every time we play. Uh, uh, oh, Monto. Monto, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we sit with that one there. That's a good matching as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, fair play, man. It's thank you so much for the tunes. But yeah, yeah. But and thank you so much for letting us play them because, yeah. you know, it is a very personal kind of situation. Oh, no, 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 yeah. But if I can't give them to you, you know, who am I going to give them to, you know? <laughs> Some of the gobshites. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan Manton's just um, said, this is the one I love when you were playing that song. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember Jono. Thanks, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he watches a lot of our shows, like, uh, so we'll be playing on Friday nights and every, we play one too. And he's a fan of that tune. Oh, is yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah, deadly. deadly Pretty good. Stuff. Pretty good. 
So, folks, we're coming to the end of our show here tonight. We are going to do an after show with Mark. We're going to chat away to him there and answer any questions or whatever. But we thought it would be uh, remiss of us if we didn't do it. Insulted song before he left. The song from Mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if you know, but it's not a good thing to call someone a langer. Really? No, it's a bad. It's actually a bad thing. I thought I thought langer was a term of endearment. Not at all, no. Really? No. How, I completely misread that situation. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it'd be good fun. You know, I've got to go back to Cork someday, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. We have to sing this song. We you have to do it, man. King of the Norries and Langer songs and a whole lot. You get me into, yeah. hide, get me into hide of trouble, you know? Not at all, man. Oh, what are you man. talking about? Oh, you just blame it on us. <laughs> he's just going gonna to land in the Cork airport. You have an airport there, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, fair play. So, so you land in there, right? Perk the cork, just fucking in there, Pert and then the cork. There as you, <laughs> he's already and proposing then, another tune. <laughs> and then as you walk out, <laughs> as you walk out, there's people throwing rose petals there on the on the ground, and and they're like, oh, the king of the Norries is back. Yeah. Highly unlikely. Okay, fair play. Anyway, all right. Anyway, so we're gonna play along oh, with this fun one. For, <laughs> fun for the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> this song uh, is in the key of C. Our soul, as some it? people say, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, it's about a, a bit of Cork slang. If you've never oh, been to Cork slang. before, uh, if somebody calls you a langer, we just realise now that it's not a good thing. I thought it was good. <laughs> 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 Might be a good name for a German heavy metal band, you know, Langer. The Langers, yeah. Langer. <laughs> 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 we'll leave you with this one here hope you enjoyed the show tonight folks we are going to be back again um, next week with some more tunes oh actually are we doing next week or are we taking a week off um, we might be taking a week off take a week off go to Caroline are we taking a week off yes oh we're taking a week off next week unless our, me and Derek decide to work which we always do our first interruption to the uh, to the lot so um, at, at the very least there'll be no Caroline Yes, but the following week we've got a wonderful guest. So we look way way uglier because we have no makeup on. No makeup and there's no did transition. You, did you put makeup yeah. on? Huh? Did you wear makeup? On? I, I, yeah, I was about to say something real bad. But <laughs> <laughs> I realised it wasn't. Save funny. it for the after show. Save yeah, it for the after, after show. show. Yeah. All right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to do one more song. This is called uh, the Langer, all the way from County Cork. I to do with me.
for now we all know one more word of court slang and while there's may some be bones I hope I'll never be known as a typical And we will see you in two weeks' time for the next episode of The Lost. Hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Thank you so much, Mark, for doing it. Fucking Cheers, boys. fair fucking blade it's here, a pleasure. man. It's a pleasure. It takes a lot of stones, nice, so yeah. well done to you. Thanks for the lovely Bro- arrangements and all that. Not at all. You're more than welcome. Thank you so much for doing it. Uh, a long, a long time friend of the band. We are going to take a short break, and then we're going to uh, reassess our lives uh, and remortgage the house. What? And then we're going to go and do an after.